The light breaks. It's the sun making its slow and measured approach above the horizon. Like many of us, emerging beyond the white curtain. We sing, like Langston Hughes once wrote in the singular, I too sing America. We play without the masks that Dunbar scripted so long ago. And we compose the music that must be, is being heard with ears that would not hear before. We are departing the kitchen of the darker brother. This is the tomorrow, and the table is set. Welcome to Classical Music in Color. I'm Jiblin Gibson. Hello, everyone. Thanks for tuning in to the April 2023 edition of Classical Music in Color. This month, we'll hear about a new choral anthology of music by black composers, Choral work also figures for Pamela Dawson, the Texas choir teacher who won the 2023 Grammy Music Educator Award. There's a couple of competitions looking for applicants, and King Charles III is commissioning several black Britons to write music for his upcoming coronation. was composed by Christopher H. Harris with lyrics by the poet Langston Hughes. It's one of 25 choral works that make up the Oxford Book of Choral Music by black composers. It was edited and curated by conductor, educator, and composer Marcus L.A. Garrett. music covers several centuries, from the 16th century to the present day. Some of the other composers represented are Vincente Lusitano, Florence Price, and Nathaniel Dett, along with living composers including Zeneda Robles, B.E. Boykin, and Robert A. Harris. Garrett's aim is to address a historical lack of representation of black musicians and composers in the choral canon. The works were recorded by London Voices and conducted by Shivani Rattan. Links are on the Classical Music and Color page on secondstreetdreams.com. There's more choral music to come from a Grammy winner. This is the DeSoto, Texas High School Choir. They are led by Pamela Dawson, who won the 2023 Grammy Music Educator Award. She's been teaching at the school south of Dallas for 27 years. This year's win came after Dawson made it to the top 10 two years ago. She was reluctant to apply again. Then I was renominated by another parent this year and actually was not going to go through the process because I was like, ah, I did it a couple years ago. And, you know, it's kind of a process. You got to do these videos. And I'm like, ah, I don't think I want to do it. And my student said, hey, Miss Dawson, you're an amazing teacher. Go ahead and try it again. And I was like, I guess I didn't want to get to that top 10 status and lose it again. And um, I went on ahead and applied and look what happened. She won and went to the Grammys. Wow, that was exciting. Oh my God. I walk in and I'm like, they're escorting me to the front row. And I was like, front row, you know, 
that here's your seat right here. Miss Pale, what can we do for you? And I'm like, oh my God. I was just like watching people come in and I was like, there's Adele. Oh my God. Okay. And I'm I'm sitting there and my mouth is falling open. Like the, the one that was really great when I saw The Rock. Okay. When The Rock came in to surprise Adele, I just kind of lost it a little bit. got back yes. from the Grammys, the school system went a little bonkers. <laughs> the school system was like, oh my God, we got a Grammy winner in the building, in the district. Oh my God. They're proud. DeSoto is proud because, you know, they talk about, you know, the arts and the athletics and the mm -hmm. academics in the schools. And so it was really to have that on their little checklist to say, oh my gosh, now we can, we can boast and say, look what we have. Why is it that you think that they were encouraging you to do this? Because they they told me, they're like, you are the best choir teacher out there and you deserve to win a Grammy. And they were like, don't, that's what they told me. They're like, you are the best, you're a mom, you're there for us and you deserve this. In addition to the win, Dawson won a $10,000 personal honorarium with the schools winning a matching grant. She says the funds will be used for scholarships for her students. By going through the process, the support from my students, their testimonies, um, and then actually going the videos and seeing myself teach. I mean, I've been teaching for 27 years and I never saw myself in that light. It was like my eyes opened up and said, wow, you are really a great educator. And wow, look at the impact that you're making on these students' lives. The Grammy Music Educator of 2023, Pamela Dawson of the DeSoto, Texas High School. Coming up next, a couple of competitions that may be of interest. String Players, the J.S. Bach competition is for you. You're listening to the 2022 winner, Nina Bernat. She's playing box suite number two in D minor, on her double bass. Applications are open now for string players ages 16 to 30. You must perform works by Bach for unaccompanied bowed string instruments. Modern and Baroque bowed instruments are also eligible. The deadline to enter is June 10th. There is a $30 submission fee and a $5,000 grand prize. The American Composers Forum is inviting composers to enter their spring national call. ANOVA Recordings, the in-house recording label, is looking for projects representing a variety of musical approaches. The deadline to apply is April 28, 2023. Our coda this month is all about the May 6th coronation of King Charles III of England. has commissioned 12 new compositions for the ceremony that includes more than a few Black Britons. Meanwhile, the Black British Classical Foundation is celebrating with an event of its own. The day after the coronation, they are holding a concert in honor of King Charles. The foundation program includes music that was composed for the coronations of previous kings and queens. Like this Elgar piece, Coronation Ode, composed for the coronation of King Edward VII, in 1902. The Black British Classical Foundation event is May 7th. If you are in London and you want to go, look for the links on secondstreetdreams.com. We 
are the Second Street Dreams Audio Network, emerging beyond the white curtain. We're on the radio and on the triple W. And those of you who listen to me on a regular basis know that my website was down for way too long. Well, it's back up and it has a new design. Check it out. Tell me what you think. And thank you for listening to the April 2023 edition of Classical Music in Color. I'm Judlin Gibson.